Hi, in this video I am going to show you that how you can make a counter application in react.js. So let's begin. So let me show you my code. Actually I have uh, uh, created a new project in uh, react.js as you know that uh, there is an app.js file and inside of it I have removed few uh, some code and uh, put it and put here in uh, a a header tag right so you can see that this content is uh, uh, on the browser screen which is counter in uh, react js right so one more file i have created inside the component folder which is counter.js so this is the counter.js that is empty right now so i have to make uh, i have to put the code inside of this uh, uh, specific file now which will uh, perform the counter uh, counter uh, example counter application so what we shall do is firstly we have to uh, put some code so what we have to do is uh, firstly we have to import react comma component from react right And then after I am going to create a class the name of that cl class is counter which extends component and then after I will create a constructor so inside of it I have to write super in order to make the code run perfectly right props and then after now i'm going to initialize a counter so firstly i have to set the state this dot state equal to count variable and initially i am initializing it by zero right and then after i will render this code render the code inside the render method and I will return return a button so here is the button and inside of this I will display the counter so this dot state dot count right and on button click what we have to do is on click on button click I have to call a function named as this dot handle click right so that function would be called from here so right now I am writing that function here and inside of it I will on button click I will set the state and which is you can say that the increment uh, code increment logic would be inside of it so this dot set state and inside of it what I have to write is count this dot state dot count plus one right so in this way the count variable would be incremented from 0 to 1 and 2 and 3 and so on right so now let's see the code let's see the output so here is the output but uh, we couldn't able to see that button why because we haven't returned exported this specific file export default and counter right and then after we also have to write this counter component inside of app app counter and now let's see okay counter is not defined so we have to import that counter from here import counter from so that is inside the component folder components folder and inside of it we have counter 
fine so now let's see okay got it we have a button here which is initially initialized with zero and once we shall click then this would this should be updated okay why this is not going to update so here is the problem the problem is this dot set state count this dot state so here is the problem in set state oh we haven't bind this uh, specific uh, function right so firstly we have to bind this this dot handle click equal to this dot handle click dot bind right so this and now let's see okay perfectly working so now you can see that in the on button click we could able to increment the counter right so this was the counter and you can also write here some text for say example counter counter so now you will find out that button is this counter which is working perfectly right so in this way you can create your application once again I reveal that uh, what I did is uh, I have created a counter.js and inside of it I have now uh, firstly created a class and then after we have a constructor inside of constructor we have uh, passed some props and super method is required in order to uh, make it successful access uh, then after uh, I have initialized a count variable by zero then after I have also <coughs> uh, bind the handle click method with the button right so on handle click we are going to increment the uh, state of the component right and then after we have render uh, method inside of it we are going to return a button and inside the button we have on click event and on click event once we shall click on the button then this handle click uh, method would be called and inside of uh, this button we have mentioned this uh, output which would be this start state that count means the current state of the counter would be here by using the count variable and finally we exported this default counter and in and here uh, in app.js we have again written the component and also imported so because of which we could able to see the output on the output screen which is once we shall refresh this would become zero and once you will click then this would be incremented so in this way you can also create your own application and uh, do the practice so that you could able to uh, understand it in a better way so that's that's it thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead